Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nick and I'm your friendly neighborhood weirdo. And today I am going to be doing a voiceover. I really try to mimic me, but I couldn't. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this voiceover, this whole entire video, I believe. So, yeah. Also, I don't know what I'm, I wanted to do at the moment. I just knew I wanted to do something on my shirt or like how it is on my little blistex. I know I just wanted something blue. So, I think I said all I needed to say, so let's get into this video! So what I used to prime my eyes is the LA Colors concealer that I got at Dollar Tree, and it works really well. Just, the eyeshadow really sticks to it good, and I use mine a lot, and then I go in with a small little baby beauty blender... I need to get a big one, I know, but I use a small one, and I just dab, dab, dab into my eye with it, just to prime my eyes and get it prepared for the eyeshadow I'm going to put on. Also, is this too close? Okay, so I'm just going to go in with my LA Color Contour Kit. I'm going to grab the lightest shade with this Wet n Wild Fluffy Brush, which I love them. I love these brushes, they're so soft, and I'm going to go in with the lightest color, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my eye, just to set off a base, because I do plan on using lots of colors, and I want them to come out as good as they can. <laughs> okay, so let's get in with the tape now. I'm going to go ahead and put the tape onto the corner of my eye, just so I could get a little nice cut action right there, so everything can come out looking straight, and I don't need to wipe, wipe away a waste um, eyeshadow. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do it, I'm going to go ahead and grab a fluffy brush and I'm going to use like this light purplish color, blue purplish color, I really don't know the color. And I'm just going to go ahead and swipe, 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 swipe into my um crease of my eye. Oh, that was my cat, that little yellow thing that you just saw pass by, that was my cat, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some orange and I put it under my eyebrows. Just so I can actually like look a little bit alive. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab this Jewels palette by LA Colors. It's an eyeshadow palette, honest, obviously. And I go ahead and I put a little bit onto this like flap-ish kind of brush, and I just go into the corner of my eye and I try to drag it up a little bit so I could get it into the crease also. And I drag it all the way to the middle of my eye and I stop it. I did get a little bit into my crease, and next I'm going to do is just grab the other side of the brush, and I go in with a navy blue color-ish, and I just go ahead and I put that onto the corner of my eye. And I do the same thing, the same kind of technique, where I try to drag it a little bit up so I could be into my crease. And next I'm going to go ahead and grab some concealer and put it into, put it on. <clears throat> to a small brush as you can see a pretty flat brush. I believe I don't know the name of these brushes and I Just go ahead from the corner of my eyelid and I go swoop sweep swoop sleep all the way to the other side of my eyelid with the concealer as You can see that I'm doing here and I put a little bit of concealer on top of the tape by accident Next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is that I'm going to go in with this little, like, shimmery, whitish, light blue color. And I'm going to, I point at it with that. I don't actually use that brush. Um, and I go ahead and I use a flat brush and I put it into the middle and swipe it left to right, left to right. And then I go ahead and I touch up the navy blue color again and I just pat it on. So it's like as vibrant as I wanted it to be. So let's wrap this up and put some highlighter on to my eyelid. And that's going to be all for eyeshadow. Highlighter is a pretty basic thing to do. Um... You just put it into the crease. I know that people put it with their finger. I use a pretty basic thing. For me, this this part's going to be kind of sped up really fast. And I just go in with the eyeliner. And I just... I wanted to see the tape part. Sorry. Why did I be quiet for that, my own part? <clears throat> 
So I did print this part in slow motion because I thought it would be satisfying, but I probably should have did the other eye in slow motion. But well, too late now. I'm already doing the voiceover. I'm about to upload this soon. I don't know why I chose to do the eyeliner part the last. Um. So then after that, I just... If I don't like the way how the eyeliner looks, which I didn't, I go ahead and I just touch it up. And sometimes I touch it up too much that I end up having to clean up what I just did. Just so I could go ahead and clean it up. You know what I mean, bro? You probably don't. You probably don't care. But I go ahead. I touch it up. I go back and forth with a little towel. And I just wipe off, like, the extra from, like, eyeshadows and stuff like that. And... Just don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of eyeliner. You should be, like, having fun with it. Don't get scared of it, because I feel like a lot of people get scared with eyeliner, thinking that they both have to be perfect. They don't need to be sisters. They can be twins. Just not noticeable twins. Twins that you can mistake for sisters. And this is the part I believe I was talking about. I just swipe down with my towel, and I go ahead and I put eyeshadow on it and I fix up the eyeliner because it's it's okay to make mistakes especially with makeup and after that let's wrap it up and get into the next part okay so next step is lips um, so you should probably have your lips moisturized, and this is the first time that I went from lips to eyes. I just wanted to try something new. Um, so this is the lipstick that I use, and I end up not being able to record what I did with my lips, so I don't be able to. So, first thing that I did was I took a white eyeliner, BSN, I believe the brand is called, and I just went ahead and put the white eyeliner to the middle of my lips, and then I go with a black eyeliner, and I put it onto the corners, and then I will go ahead from the white to the middle of the white to the black part, I just rub in the lipstick that I put on my finger before I did so I don't mess up the thing. I hope I explained it well. Sorry I didn't get a video of it. Okay, so this part is the most basicest and easiest part that I do and I feel like I had done this like a million times on camera. If not, I'll upload, I'll probably upload soon a just basic face look. Like, just basic <laughs> on how I do basic makeup. So I just go in with my um, LA Colors Concealer, I believe. And I use this one instead of the other one for this part just because I felt like it would have been right for today. And yeah, this just costed me $2, honestly. And you're going to notice that I use that black little sponge a lot just because my pink one is just too dirty to use. I believe it even has mold on it. And I don't know why I zoomed in for this part, but this is just the most simplest part of this video. I go in with this, um, what is it called? Foundation from Dollar Tree. And I just, my thing broke or something. I don't know what happened. So I just go ahead and I put a little glob of it onto my hand and I just use that and dot it all over my face. And then I go ahead and I blend all of that into my face I guess <laughs> and yeah I use uh, the circle and for it to blend all over and then I use oh my god did I blend them I didn't so um I'm going in with this LA color contour stick um I think I used it in my last video when my mom did my voiceover I'm not 300% sure but it is so creamy and I'm just like so in love with it. And like it was just a dollar which is really good for me. Also I don't know how to contour. Like I believe you're supposed to start from your lip going up. I just, I do what I do. And if I don't like the turn out, I cover it up. Pretty basic stuff. I don't think you're supposed to go all the way down to your lip, but we don't follow the rules here. And then I just contour right here, and this is so creamy. I love it. 
I like creamy stuff. Like, I love stuff that's easy to do. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in with my... I was going to say blend and brush, but this isn't a brush. This is a sponge. And, yeah. I might buy the other one, which is meant to for this part, but I don't normally do that. I I know this might sound dumb, but what I do is I just contour and I put some baking powder. I use AOA banana baking powder because that's the one that works for me and that's the cheapest one I know of. And I just let it sit on for like 10 seconds after I'm all done. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with some nose contour because I never do that and I'm a little worried about it. It's like, why do you need to actually contour your nose? I don't know, but I just want to see how it looks. And they go, whew. Um, I feel like I look like a reindeer. Just going to find that out. And I love this contour stick because it's so easy to just to blend out. You seen that? Like, hallelujah. And then I like to close up everything while I'm just waiting to bake, you know. I feel like this is the dirtiest thing in my thing because this always gets like really dirty for no reason. Um, I usually use this contour to contour. The LA color contour got it for Christmas but my mom got me this stick and I really like it I might switch over I don't know Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is just going to take this dark blue color and I'm going to go ahead. Oh, by the way, I put some highlighter on if you didn't notice. And I'm just going to go ahead and go into a V-shape with this like fluffy-ish brush that's used for... I don't know. <laughs> I use it for many things. And I go ahead and with that fluffy brush, I just put a V-shape onto my cheek and I take a white eyeliner that just broke. Okay, okay, I see how it is. I go ahead and I push it up, and I 
put a heart onto my cheek and I just uh, kind of try and sketch it, scribble, scribble, scrabble, scribble, de scrabble, de scroop, whoop it, whoop it, whoop. I don't know. <laughs> I just go ahead and I fill in like the parts. I wanted it to be a little bit fatter, honestly. I didn't like how it came out. It looked a little bit too skinny. But I liked it anyways at the end. I think it came out really pretty. And I just tried to put a little X at the end. And there you go. We have the final look. Okay, so that's all for this look. Thank you so much for watching. And bye.